Hello everyone, welcome back to the Deep Talk ya SNS. Simulizi na sauti. Uh, ni siku nyingine tena tunakutana kwenye kipindi chetu maalum kabisa. Siku ya leo sitakuwa ni kwa peke yangu, nitakuwa hapa na Professor my brother. <laughs> ah, it sounds good, man. To be professor. Uh, yeah, Mika Chavala here. Aya ndio majina yangu. Yeah. Na sio tu my brother professor tupo pia na dada yetu hapa uh, dada yetu karibu sana Thank you so much is that in the building how are you guys karibuni tena we're super yeah. super duper excited Mambo vipi mrembo I'm good thank you how are you I'm good I'm good I'm mm. feeling good How are you Paul <laughs> Any Paul Leo <laughs> You know he has to hit me with it a little bit. So unajua yeah. nake wanaangalia so he has to show his skills. Ila mtokeo anaangalia anajua like what she's getting. <laughs> so, I get it, I get it. Yeah. So kabla tujaendelea tuwashukuru wale watazamaji wetu ambao walipata muda wakatoa comment kwenye ile session ambayo tulifanya. Ilikuwa inaitwa um, ni heartbreak or betrayal. Yeah. Ha, um, yeah. heartbreak. So, thank you so much kwa wale ambao wame wametumia wame wao kuitazama ile, ile session na wakatoa comment zao kwenye Instagram pia niliona walitoa comment na kwenye YouTube ya, ya Sky SNS. So asante sana na kama bado hujaitazama unaweza kaenda sasa hivi kwenda ukaitazama video hiyo. So that's it. Siku ya leo tutaenda kuzungumzia nini? Yes, siku ya leo tunazungumzia life experience, right? Tunataka tuwape our life experience. Nini sisi tumeona ime to benefit katika maisha yetu? Kuna vitu gani ambavyo tume implement, tumeika katika maisha yetu ambayo imefanya sisi tumefika tulipofika leo na kuna vitu gani ambavyo tumeona pingine mtu anayo mistake ambaye anaweza kusema mm, ningefanya tena nisingefanya hichi kitu kwa hiyo if you want live gems kama unataka something something ambayo itaboresha maisha yako this is the episode for you who wants to start who feels inspired who feels like kwanza ni waulize like are you guys satisfied mko satisfied with your journey right now It doesn't mean kama mmefika 100% mnapotaka kufika. Hakuna sidhani kama kuna mmoja wetu hapa amefika 100% lakini tuko katika safari yetu ya success. So nataka kuwauliza, are you satisfied na safari yako so far? Mimi naweza tu nikasema hata sasa yeye ni ebeneza. Okay? Hata sasa. <laughs> hata sasa Mungu amenisaidia kwa kweli. I'm very satisfied with my life na mshukuru sana Mungu. Uh, na of course um, unajua katika haya maisha wakati mwingine watu huwa wanasema kuna bahati mm-hmm. ila mimi si, si amini katika bahati na amini katika blessings mm-hmm. baraka mm-hmm. kwa hiyo naweza ngesema nime na, na mshukuru sana Mungu uh, nipo ma, eneo ambalo nime satisfy hata wakati ambapo nipo chini kabisa sababu mm-hmm. saizi siwezi ngesema niko chini kabisa mm-hmm. sababu yani, yani nilikuwa nipo pale chini lakini ikala ika curve kame kame katika naanza kupanda juu pa yani wewe kama <laughs> Umeona eh? Hasa kuna wengine wapo wanashuka, kuna wengine hapo hapa chini, kuna wengine hapo pale juu kwenye peak, najua dart yuko pale. Mimi nimeanza kuona kava. Ndio naanza kupandisha juu. Sijui poa yuko wapi na sitaki kujua. Lakini namshukuru Mungu <laughs> kwa neema hiyo kubwa. Ah uh, kwa kweli. Na, na, na vitu ambavyo labda naweza kusema uh, vimenisaidia. Mimi hmm. kuwepo hapa nilipo. Kwa ni kama nimesema neema ya Mungu, lakini kuna vitu kadhaa ambavyo mimi nimekuwa naishi navyo na mm. vitu kadhaa ambavyo nimekuwa naishi navyo katika maisha yangu kusema kwamba mm. vitu hivi katika maisha yangu nimejifunza huko nilikokwenda uh, na vimekuwa vinanisaidia na natatamani kushare na na, na, na ndugu zetu hapa wasimulize na sauti hivi ni vitu vya mm. msingi sana kitu cha mm. kwanza siku zote huwa nasema preparations mm. preparations kwa nini preparations preparations katika kila jambo lolote unalotaka kulifanya kama wewe ni mwanafunzi mm. na unaenda kufanya mtihani lazima ujiandae kabla ya kufanya mtihani 
kama wewe ni mfanyakazi kabla hujaenda kufanya hiyo presentation au hujaenda kazini lazima ujiandae kabla ya kwenda pale kama wewe ni profesa kama mimi lazima ujiandae na somo lako kabla hata hujaenda kufundisha wale watu yeah. kama wewe ni mwanamuziki lazima ufanye mazoezi lazima ucheze hivi na hivi ujiandae kabla ya kile katika kitu chochote kile lazima ujiandae na ukijiandaa ni vigumu sana wewe kufail hata mm. kama ukifail hautaweza kuwa down there you know at the bottom mm. lakini kwa sababu ukimchukua mtu mwenye preparation na mtu ambaye hana preparation ni watu wa wili tofauti kabisa anajua cha kuongea mm. anajua cha kusema atakiliza swali kwa sababu mm. amejiandaa hicho ni cha kwanza cha pili wanasema details Anana. watu wengi huwa wanashindwa ku focus on the details ya vitu yani mm. unaweza kumwambia mtu aeleze kitu akaeleze tu juu juu aseleze details lakini kwa nini zile details zipo kwa sababu huyu mtu hakujiandaa Mm. Ukijiandaa unaweza ukawa una details za msingi sana kusema. Sasa hii ipo katika mambo yote. Ipo kwenye kama wewe ni designer, umeona una design kitu, hauwezi ku design kitu ili mradi tu. Lakini kwa mfano hata hapa yani hapa mimi naangalia hii hii nani um hii stream ya naangalia hii mm. program ambayo tunatumia. Ukiangalia mm. hizi details ambayo naongea kupa tu mfano, mm. hizi box zetu hizi ambazo unaziona. Mm. Angalia mm. nafasi za juu, nafasi za pembeni, nafasi za chini. Mm. nafasi za juu na za pembeni hazilingani maana ni kwamba mm. hizi box hazipo yani ukiangalia kama wewe ni una macho ya kidetail unajua mm. kwamba hii box hapa baada ya kaa sana juu ilibidi shule chini kidogo ili kwamba nafasi ya juu na ya upande huu iwe inalingana hizo ni t- details ambazo watu wengine hawezi kupay attention lakini ukipay attention maana ni kwamba kama unapay attention katika any details unatoka katika level ile ya kawaida unaingia katika mm. level ya professionalism Mm-hmm. 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 professionals wanna focus on the details. Mm-hmm. Wale watu wa kawaida hawa focus on the details. Kwa hiyo ni kitu cha pili. Kitu cha tatu, sio zote wanasema ni time. Mm-hmm. Time management. Mm-hmm. Na shida tu moja na Afrika. Tatizo kwamba Afrika tupo nyuma kimaendeleo. Kweli kuna ma, kuna, ma, kuna, kuna, kuna 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 reasons nyingi sana, lakini reason moja kubwa ambayo ni fact. Ni time. Mm. like wastage of time we don't care mm. about time we don't protect time we don't keep time ndio maana siku hizi tunasema kwamba hii ni african time kimsingi mm. sio african time lakini kwa sababu tumezoea kwa namna kama hiyo tumezoea siku zote kuwa tunachelewa una mm. unabidi una submit kitu katika wakati kama huu let's say unabidi submit kitu leo kama wewe ni mwanafunzi unajua mimi ni professor kwa hiyo naongelea katika hiyo katika hiyo 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 experience inabidi usubmit <laughs> leo Jumatatu wewe mtu una wiki nzima alafu unategemea kuja kufanya Jumapili usubmit bride on time Jumatatu mm-hmm. umekosa preparations na uweze kujua sikio unaweza kuwa na mood gani au umepatwa na kitu gani umeshindwa ku keep time unashindwa ku submit on time una fail Save tu meeting meeting ambazo nasema tukutane jamani wakati huu na uta mtu mm-hmm. anashindwa ana, ana ku keep time umeona mm-hmm. so mimi binafsi jinsi ninavyoishi kama nina meeting kama nina appointment na kukutana saa tatu, mimi naenda pale saa mbili dakika 55 mm-hmm. nikienda pale 5 minutes before maana yake na 5 minutes the preparations before mm-hmm. that ila nikifika saa tatu, mimi ni kwamba nitaanza kujiandaa tutaweza kuanza session saa tatu, labda na nusu na vitu kama hivyo kwa hiyo tayari mm-hmm. muda umeshapotea na mm-hmm. time is the most valuable thing than anything in this world than gold yeah. than money time it's everything time is life you waste you waste time you waste your life hmm. the last thing ambayo hmm. nime hii ya mwisho tuniongee kwa sasa ni difficult decisions hmm. nakumbuka wakati nipo Korea miaka mitatu iliyopita nilikuwa nafanya kazi ambayo nilikuwa nalipwa uh, 3000 dollars every single month nilikuwa hmm. na insurance nilikuwa na visa nilikuwa na um, you know money nilikuwa naishi kwa nyumba nzuri nilikuwa na hela yani kimsingi nilikuwa na hela mzee lakini baada ya miezi minane katika ile kazi nikafanya maamuzi magumu ya kuacha ile kazi. Niliacha na nilikuwa sina plan B. Nimeondoka kazini, nikarudi nyumbani, sina plan B ya kufanya chochote. Mm-hmm. Ndio ule ndio nikaanza kufanya movement zangu, nikaanza kufanya YouTube. Miezi mm-hmm. miwili baadaye COVID ikapiga. Mm-hmm. Mimi niko ndani, watu wakarudi kwenye YouTube, YouTube ikakua. Sasa hivi miaka mm-hmm. mitatu mbele, I've never regretted that decision. Mm-hmm. Nasema kuru Mungu niliache ile kazi kwa sababu nilijiona mm. katika mimi sifai kuwepo pale yani pale ni, ni pako chini yani naangalia unaangalia 3000 dollars nasema hii ni hela ni hela nasema 3000 chini na sasa nikatengeneza nika hii 3000 in one day in the near future why should mm. i stay nikakimbia kwa hiyo nadhani mm. hivi ni vitu vinne ambavyo kwa sasa nitavisema niishie hapo ili kwamba niachie na, na ndugu zangu hapa wengine wazungumze 
Mm-hmm. Vimenisaidia sana kuwepo hapa nilipo na najua vitanisaidia kuwepo maeneo mengine. Kama ukizingatia hivyo vitu vinne, maisha yako yatakuwa ni tofauti. Watu watakuwa mm-hmm. nakuangalia na kusema maisha yako <laughs> tofauti hivi ni vitu sio uchawi ila ni vitu tu ambavyo ukivijali angalia watu wote waliofanikiwa hivi ni vitu ambavyo wana wa, yani wana wana, wana, wana vishikidia. na vita kusaidia mm. anyways i'll stop right there thank you mika nitarudi kwako nataka nikuulize swala lakini nitarudi kwako i want to ask uh, paul what about you kwanza are you satisfied uko happy with where you at and to pay the gems of your life kuna nini umeona ambayo imekufikisha hapo <laughs> Mr. Professor. <laughs> By the way you guys, Mika tell them why are we calling you professor today? Why to not choke up with, with professor? Bwana wanaita professor. Are you going to tell the people am I we putting your business out there? Okay, kweli, kwa kweli nyinyi watu mwanza kunaita professor huko bado tasijapata kazi. Kimsingi. Kimsingi leo nitakuwa nina leo nitakuwa na interview fupi kuna kuna chuo kimoja kimenitafuta. Uh, ili kwamba ni, ni, niende pale niwe ni lecturer okay lecturer wa kitu fulani kwa hiyo uh, nina baada ya hii interview uh, baada ya hii session nitakuwa naelekea kwa ajili ya interview so you know hopefully itakuwa ni maongezi utakayopenda na na, na na payment na vitu kama hivyo kama ni sawa basi uh, very soon i'll be professor mika wewe <laughs> tunakuombea <laughs> mika <laughs> thank you guys keep me in your prayers inshallah inshallah <laughs> Paul Twambie, what is your journey? Professor has spoken. It's your turn. Yeah, ni msikiliza professor. Kila na washauri tu watu wasifanye difficult decision kama yale ulivyofanya pasipokuwa na plan B. Ifanye difficult decision make sure una plan B. Otherwise utajuta. So by the way, mimi ni sema kwa swali ambalo umeuliza kwamba am I satisfied? Um Siwezi siwezi nikasema 100% kwamba niko satisfied mm. lakini namshukuru Mungu kwa kwa sasa hivi position ambayo nipo like ni mtu ambaye nipo sehemu naweza nikatazama ni sehemu gani ambapo na, naenda mm. uh, so hicho ni kitu ambacho namshukuru Mungu kwamba like i can see where am i going tofauti mm. na kwamba hapo ni kwamba leo sijajua naenda wapi lakini nao nimesha recognize kwamba naenda sehemu gani So moja kati ya vitu ambavyo um, mimi na hisi vimenisaidia mpaka kufikia hii stage ya kwamba na naweza nikaona kwamba ni sehemu gani ambayo naenda. Maana watu wengi sana tunafeli kwamba tunafanya vitu lakini hatujui ni sehemu gani ambayo tunaenda. Actually nipo mm-hmm. nazungumzia vision kwamba watu wengi sana wanafanya vitu hawajui vision yao ni nini. Hiyo mm-hmm. iko 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 open kabisa hata ukienda viwoni au mashule unaweza kumuuliza mtu hey why are you studying the journalism? Why you mm-hmm. say studying medical doctor anakuambia oh kwa mfano nakumbuka nilishaka kutana na mtu kwenye gari akaniambia anasoma anasoma mambo ya development sio nini nini nikamuuliza why unasomea development akaniambia watu wa development wanasomea vitu hivi hivi so lakini mimi sitaki kuwa hivyo vitu sio unaweza kwa hiyo inaonekana kwamba vile yeye hana specific kwamba anahitaji kwenda same gani so moja kati ya vitu ambavyo mimi vimenisaidia Uh, siwezi kusema pia kwamba nimeviperform 100% lakini kwa kiasi fulani kama 90% ndio vitu ambavyo vimenisaidia mimi mpaka kuja ku recognize ni sehemu gani ambapo nipo naenda mm. kitu cha kwanza ni ni discipline discipline yangu ndio ambayo imenisaidia mpaka nikaja ku recognize kwamba ni sehemu gani ambayo napaswa kwenda mm. discipline ya kuzungumza na watu ya kwangu mwenyewe kujitune discipline ya kile kitu ambacho na nakihitaji mm-hmm. maana hata ukiwa unahitaji kitu fulani nahitaji pia uweke ni damu yako ili uweze kukifanikisha hicho kitu so hicho ni kitu cha kwanza ambacho mimi kimenisaidia ambacho pia mpaka sasa hivi kina kinaendelea kunisaidia mm-hmm. kitu kingine ni ni utofauti yani kuonyesha utofauti wa kitu ambacho nakifanya au ambacho nakihitaji mimi kwamba kama mimi nahitaji kufanya kitu hiki kuna watu wengine pia wanafanya kitu hicho so nahitaji kuonyesha utofauti kwamba mimi nakifanya tofauti na vile watu ambavyo wanataka wao kufanya hmm. so hicho ni kitu kingine ambacho pia ki, kimenisaidia kitu kingine is, some, is that something that you think about actively yani unakaa unakifikiria sasa hivi lazima ni yeah, sure. is something you think yeah. okay cool. sure yeah. 
kitu kingine yani ambacho ni nitasema ni cha mwisho ni kidney uh, ni sema kuhang na na na, na kwa ngumi na waite the right person mm. kwamba kuzungukwa na watu ambao nahisi ni watu naamini kwamba ni watu sahihi kwangu mm. hicho ni kitu ambacho nimekuwa niki nikikifanya kwa kila mara kwamba sehemu yote ile ambayo nitakapokuwa psycho mm. yangu basi iwe psycho ya, ya watu ambao ni right kwa ngumi mm. that's a thing ambayo nime nimeifanya nakuwa naifanyia kazi mara kwa mara mm. so that's the last thing lakini vitu vingine ndo kama hivyo my brother ambavyo mimi mention ndio maana nasema kwamba hang up with the right person so hang up with Mika as my brother sasa hivi kaniambukiza vitu vingine ambavyo sasa hivi pia nilikuwa nafanyia kazi na hivyo pia naona kwamba vina vinafanya vina vinanionyesha tuna sehemu nyingine so hivyo mm-hmm. vitu ambavyo vitaja preparation time details difficult decision ni vitu ambavyo kila siku kila siku na jana sio juzi nilikuwa naye kwenye kwenye bajaji nikamwambia kwamba my brother nowadays kuna vitu kiona niambia like inakuwa ni wimbo sasa kwa ngumi yani hata mimi nikiamka tunaanza kuanza Mika preparation details ni nani so sasa ukiamka unaanza kufanya nini si yes yes unaanza kuanza vile vitu anavyoniambia kama ni preparation time difficult decision details so ni vitu ambavyo anaviimba sana kwa ngumi mimi so tayari ameshaniambukiza tabia hiyo ambavyo na kwa ngumi mimi tayari nishavi code na naona ni vitu ambavyo ni sahihi badilisha badilisha neno basi usiseme kuambukiza usema kuambukiza unanifanya kama mimi kama ni corona au nini badilisha neno bwana kuna Kiswahili bora cha <laughs> okay Kiswahili bora na kizuri ni kwamba ni vitu ambavyo ananifundisha mimi ni vizingatie na tayari nishaona ni that thing ambao mimi napaswa kufanya. Kwa mfano ile swala la muda hii, swala la time time details details. Kuna vitu kabisa yani <laughs> nishaona nishabadilika kama kama kwenye asilimia mia sasa hivi niko kwenye asilimia tisini So one day I will make a 100% to be on the exact size to make sure if kama nahitaji ku present kitu kiwe na details. So by the way, hivyo vitu ni vitu ambavyo vinashamiana. Like ukiwa na ukiwa na ukiwa umejiandaa ni lazima utakuwa na details. Mm. Na kama ukiwa na details ni lazima utakuwa ndani ya muda. Na kama mm. ni mtu wa kuzingatia hizo vitu vitatu, actually utakuwa ni mtu wa kutake difficult decision. Mm. Yeah, so vitu kama hivyo. Thank you so much. I appreciate mm. Mr. Prof. I love it, love it, love it. I love it. Thank you so much. What about you, Dati? What about me? What about mm. me? Uh, thank you so much for sharing, guys. Kwangu mimi I will say honestly niko so satisfied with wapi nilipo katika maisha. Now it doesn't mean that nimefika because I have so many things I'm going to kufanya like so many things um, by bado I'm dreaming to do. Lakini alhamdulillah kwa journey niliyofika like I am super duper happy kwa journey niliyofika. And I will say like the things I'm by men fanya nimefika nilipofika is cha kwanza is develop a relationship with yourself. How do you say that in Swahili? Like um yani ni kujielewa eh? Ya imarishe mahusiano yako binafsi. Yeah, like ni kujielewa we mwenyewe ni super duper important. Like kujielewa yani kujisikiliza we mwenyewe because even yani Mika ulisema for example kuna kati uli, uliacha hiyo kazi ambaye ilikulipa a lot me actually nilikuwa kwenye similar situation kuna nilikuwa nafanya kazi i was also making lots of money nilipata kazi alafu nilifanya kazi tu miezi sita and so it was still fresh unajua bado uko fresh new kene kazi and then nikaingia kene shule nikawa accepted kusoma and i remember watu walikuwa wananiambia usi accept soma baadaye you know so lazima ufanye haraka kusoma maana umeshapata kazi na inalipa hela nyingi na hata huna huna cheti lakini umepata kazi na umepata mshahara mzuri kwa hiyo usisome like endelea kufanya kazi utasoma baadaye so kama walikuwa wanasema usisome lakini wanasema utasoma baadaye but I knew in my heart kene roho yangu like no kuna no 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 lazima nifanye sasa hivi and it was a big risk at that time because nilikuwa nimenunua nyumba nyingine nimeuza nime nimenunua tena uh, nimerudi Sweden nilikuwa Tanzania nili break up na mtu kwa hiyo nilikuwa naishi ni hame ni ishi peke yangu it was a lot of things ambayo ilifanya economy itakuwa ngumu lakini still still in my heart nilijua kwamba mm 
lazima nifanye hichi kitu kwa hiyo nilifanya and it was like the perfect thing in align so always like when a relationship with yourself because wewe unajua ukweli wako kila mtu atakwambia fanya hivi fanya hivi fanya hivi fanya hivi but always we unajua ukweli wako and i don't mimi also i can say that sometimes unaweza kufanya kitu bila plan b lakini kwa prepared ya maisha ni kwa prepared kwamba nafanya hichi kitu bila plan b lakini wewe unajisimamia wewe mwenyewe like just know anything can happen lakini i believe like sometimes you just gotta go for it sometimes lazima uende tu and then see what's going to happen Uh, another thing i would say is make it a habit to pray unje sometimes unatafuta prayer wakati vitu ni vigum right tunatafuta mungu wakati vitu ni vigum but make it a habit really to pray vitu vikuwa vizuri na vitu vikuwa vigum because what you're doing also in that place unapo pray cha kwanza is you have a relationship with god cha pili is you have a relationship with yourself because unapo pray unapo vocalize vile vitu it's almost like you get the vision kama ulivyosema pa sometimes mtu unaweza kwa kwenye maisha unafanya unakwenda tu lakini hakuna ile vision lakini unapo pray it's like you have to say something so you have to think and the vision becomes clearer so i would also say like make it a habit to pray Another thing I would say is make it a habit to meditate. Prayer and meditation are two different things. Like ningekuwa najua meditation before. I used to always know meditation meditation. Tunaisikiaga tu online meditation da 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 da. Najua ni kitu kizuri. Lakini I'm telling you guys meditation cha kwanza it will silence your mind. Meditation itakubalance kena akili. Meditation itakufanya calmer. Meditation itakufanya unajisikia yani your own thoughts and your own feelings differently. Yani unajisikia tofauti kabisa. Meditation will add so much value to your life. Kuna mtu alisemaga hivi before you face the world, face yourself. The first thing you do in the morning before you go out there unaenda unafanya una, una kazi gani yani whatever. Meditate, pray. Yani lazima weke space asubuhi ni ya kwako tu which is for you and then you and god yani wewe alafu wewe na Mungu and then unaenda kufata siku yako before you face the world face yourself like for me it makes me more focused it makes me more balanced it makes me siku ikianza yani unajua unaweza ukaamka siku nyingine afu kuamka kwenye bad mood unaamka like unajisikia ndivyo sivyo when you meditate and you pray it's like una shift a little bit Unaanza kuji shift siku yako. Another thing I would say in my early 20s is be very mindful who you date. Like nani ambayo unam date and nani ambayo unampa maisha yako be very mindful because watu wengine watu wengi ambao wana date wana date in the early 20s especially wanawake and then tunakuja kuzaa. Bam, umekwama na mtoto, huna partner life becomes more difficult so kuwa very very makini nani unam date katika your early 20s nani unampa muda wako because like michael vosema time is of essence hakuna kitu muhimu kama time na time so ile tu kwa on time it's also how do you use your time nani unampa your time where do you put your attention on your time kwa hiyo unapompa mtu unapokana mtu karibu kwa mapenzi unampa time Be very very mindful who you give your time to. Sema pa mika na kuona is is itching in your body. Tell me. Yeah, ni kana sawa tu ya unachosema ni cha msingi sana na natumai watazamaji wapenzi watazamaji na bwana Kilaga zo here wana wanasikiliza. Endelea na that. Endelea. No, I think kwa sababu unajua sometimes tunaweza kuwa tuko ah tuko kwenye mahusiano tuna mind mtu tuko early 20s unajua tunakwenda tunakwenda whatever you don't think lakini later on unakuja mimi nimekuja ku realize I'm like yo reclaiming my time I want my time back <laughs> you know kwa sababu unawapa tu wengi so much of your time and you don't realize kwamba man maisha yanapita maisha will be over at any time wewe unampa tu mtu ambaye hakuthamini muda wako Don't do that. Take your time back. Ek attention yako kwenye kitu kingine. Another thing I would say is that in your 20s it's a it's the best time to explore your fears. Yaani vitu wote ambavyo unaviogopa kufanya, fanya. 
because it's like you when you face your fears you realize kwamba fear is merely in the mind unless ni kitu ambaye inakuua unless ni kitu ambaye inaku physically harm lakini like other than that fear inakuaga ni ni hapa juu tu umejenga kitu like oh this one is this so face your fears like for example i used to do nilikuwa nafanya mziki before this i remember like kupanda kwenye stage right ah it was like especially kama huko prepared like when i used to do music in the beginning in the early 20s it was like facing your fears kuna muda nilikwenda like event ya balozi and they were like oh tunataka umwimbie balozi mimi sijaenda pale prepare sikutegemea mimi nilikuja tu kama guest na kwenda nimevaa vizuri i'm just coming there to like hey hey nimefika all of a sudden i need a microphone you know and it's like at that moment ningeza nikachagua like okay siwezi kufanya hichi kitu kwa sababu sija prepare hamjaniambia nifanye so kwa hiyo siwezi kufanya or it's like action right and in that moment i was like ah lakini i did it i did it nili i was just like you know what just do it niki fail don't me fail kama nimefanikiwa ndo nimefanikiwa i feel like every one of those moments is super duper important nisingefanya hizo vitu in the music industry ni singefika nilipofika it was like so many of those moments every time i had to face my fear even like going in the studio nilienda studio na watu wakubwa the first time i went on a studio and it was like niende nisiende nifanye nisifanye because ah it's above my league you know lakini like, you just do it you just do it do it do it do it do it have you guys heard that expression whether you believe you'll make it or not you're completely right Yaani kama unaamini utafanikiwa uko sahihi na kama unaamini hutofanikiwa pia uko sahihi. Yaani kitu ambacho unachokiamini ndo kitakutokea. Na that is like self esteem. Nini unaamini is very very much built on self esteem. Unaamini unaweza kufanikiwa katika biashara yako? Yes or no. Unaamini unaweza kufanikiwa katika mahusiano yako? Yes or no. Like everything katika maisha is self esteem. I'm telling you guys what you get out of life has a lot to do with self esteem. Nataka nisikie kwenye comment section kwa watu ambao wanatizama what is your biggest life lessons like nataka niingie kwenye comment section ya angalia because I'm always looking for new things, the new ways to elevate my own life. So kama kuna mtu ambaye ana gems, kuna mtu ambaye ame ameona like this is 100% eka katika maisha yako ama toa katika maisha yako, let us know tujulishe kwenye comment section. Indeed, indeed. All in all kama baba leo anaposema all in all there is a hope kuna hope kwamba kuna kamlango there is a loom there is a door mm. ya, ya kutoka nje we have to keep on believing on that kwamba no matter what no matter how hard it is still there is a door mm. ya sisi kutoka nje mm. so evo 100% 100% agree like keep hope alive like i said whatever you believe kama unaamini utafanikiwa utafanikiwa kama unaamini ufanikiwi you're also right uko sahihi hutafanikiwa always believe and i also believe that whatever you have katika moyo wako ndani ya moyo wako ni Mungu ndo kaeka pale right ingekuwa Mungu yani Mungu asingetaka uwe na hiyo dream asingeeka katika moyo wako so believe that whatever Mungu ameka katika moyo wako ni sahihi and don't lose hope and fight 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 hakuna mtu amepata kitu easy yani unaweza ukamwangalia mtu maisha yako na hata maneno ah maisha yako ilikuwa easy wewe ni mrembo ilikuwa easy lakini uwezi kujua mtu amepitia nini behind the scenes yani uwezi ukaota mtu amepitia nini behind the scenes so usiangalie safari ya mtu mwingine focus na safari yako keep hope alive keep fighting do you have a relationship with yourself usisikilize watu wengine you know what's right for your life period salut basi ndio right. tunaweza tukatupata sisi katika social media zetu mimi binafsi mika chavala unanipata kila mahali kila mahali na nasema hivi kwa sababu uh, kitu ambacho poa amekisema mwishoni yani akihitaji nyongeza amesema kitu uh, kikubwa sana bado akisema but there's a hope ni mtu akishasema kwa maana hizo changamoto zote unazosema zimepotea ni umefuta kila kitu nasema lakini liko tumaini na kuna doa na kuna mlango na huo mlango inabidi upitie lazima uamue kupita huo mlango umesikia usiseme tu kwamba kuna hope alafu upiti kwenye mlango ah sasa ndio upite kwenye mlango 
sababu kuna mtu atakaye kuja kushika na kukupitisha kwenye mlango kuna kuna hope umeona hope na umeona mlango sasa toka tumia mm-hmm. mlango kuondoka mm-hmm. basi jamani mnaweza mkanipata kila mahali linkedin sio tiktok sio facebook sio instagram sio youtube mika chavala like mm-hmm. your social nation on youtube as well uh, na bwana po justin pale tunaweza tukapata wapi kila agazo ya yeah, mimi unaweza kanipata uh, mimi tofauti na my brother yeye yeah, anatumia kila mtandao hadi snapchat mtampata kwa mika chavala hiyo hiyo lakini mimi natumia instagram po justin na twitter pia natumia po justin underscore tz Yeah. Yes. Me unaza kila mahala same thing Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is, coach dati. Same same everywhere, coach dati. That's it. Guys, but, but though, let's take a moment to appreciate Tanzanian ladies and African ladies. Mm. You know, I think that really beautiful. Like look at <laughs> look, look at dati right here. No, I I, com- I completely <laughs> agree. Let's take a moment no. to appreciate Tanzanian ladies. <laughs> Oh, all, all over actually african ladies were very very strong <laughs> internally and oh, the struggles that we've been through doesn't show on our face oh, salute daddy. to us daddy. oh daddy salute to you 